if you like George Clooney, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Better get a hell of a lot fucking better, or you are going to feel a hell of a lot fucking worse. Everybody be cool. You be cool. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Three Kings, 1999. What is the most important thing in life? What are you talking about? What's the most important thing? Three Kings is a 1999 war comedy film written and directed by David O. Russell and stars George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg, Ice Cube, and Spike Jones. The Gulf War is over, and three friends and soldiers plan to go home as rich men. Though they plan to leave as three thieves, they stay as heroes witnessing the true horror of war. Knowing that President Bush encouraged Iraq citizens to fight against the suppression of Saddam to see them slaughtered, the three friends are confronted with their humanity in times of violence. Necessity. As in? As in people do what is most necessary to them at any given moment. Right now, what is most necessary to Saddam's troops is to put down the uprising. We can do what we want, they won't touch us. Number 9. The Ides of March, 2011. We're going to create national unity, we're going to teach young people a trade, and we're going to get them out of debt for their college loans. Now, where does that fail? The Ides of March is a political drama film directed by George Clooney and stars him alongside Ryan Gosling, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Paul Giamatti, Marissa Tomei, and Evan Rachel Wood. Everything seems brilliant for charming Governor Mike Morris, who runs for the Ohio Democratic primary and will likely win over his opponent. But as arrogance takes its place, things go unexpectedly when his idealistic press secretary begins to believe in his opponent's ideology and sets loose a row of events that threaten Morris's career forever. Paul likes this. Mm -hmm. The beauty of it is that everybody who's over the age of 18 or past the age of eligibility will be for it. Why not? And all of the others you can't vote. Number 8. Michael Clayton, 2007. Are you so fucking blind you don't even see what I am? I'm the easiest part of your whole goddamn problem and you're gonna kill me? Michael Clayton is a legal thriller film written and directed by Tony Gilroy and stars George Clooney, Tom Wilkinson, Tilda Swinton, and Sidney Pollack. This sharply written ride will not only make you hold your breath until the credits roll, but it will also make you question what paths one wants to go down in life. For burned-out prosecutor Michael Clayton, this means being bound to a law firm and take care of the company's dirty work to pay off his debts. But this might change real quick. Five is easier. Yeah, five is something we, we could talk about. Good. And then the other five is to forget about the 468 people that you knocked off with your weed killer. Let me finish up this meeting. I'll talk to Do Don. I look like I'm negotiating? Number seven. From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996. What is this? It's called a punch. From Dusk Till Dawn is a 1996 action horror film directed by Robert Rodriguez and stars George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, Harvey Keitel, Juliette Lewis, and Salma Hayek. This extravagant action horror thrill ride is not only the birth of one of Hollywood's greatest actors, but the rise of the friendship between cult director Tarantino and Rodriguez. When two bank robbers held a family on vacation captive, the unlikely group must soon protect themselves against something unusual in this culturally acclaimed B-movie adventure. All right, Richie, you take these keys, you start this big bastard up and drive it up front. Richie? Would you do me a favor and eat my pussy for me, please? Number six. The Descendants, 2011. Set, bro. Don't ever do that to me again. The Descendants is a drama film directed by Alexander Payne and stars George Clooney, Shailene Woodley, and Judy Greer. Family can be the best thing, and it's worth fighting for, but this brilliant dramatization explores how it can be the heaviest burden on Earth. After the sudden coma of his wife, struggling father Matt must cope with her possible death, pressure from relatives to sell their land, and at the same time hold his troubled family together all at once. Don't Back inside, put on a swimsuit. Why? Now. A real good job you're doing. That's part of why I brought you here. 
You have to help me with her. I don't know what to do with her. Maybe if you spent more time with her, she wouldn't act like such a complete spaz. Number five. Good night and good luck. 2005. They're going to get audited this year. Not me, you. I told them I didn't want to do the story. Good Night and Good Luck is a historical drama film directed by George Clooney and stars him alongside David Strathairn, Patricia Clarkson, Jeff Daniels, Robert Downey Jr., and Frank Langella. Revealing a shocking truth about politics and the fight between the Western regimes against the communistic beliefs, Good Night and Good Luck follows a daring CBS journalist investigating in U.S. government corruption. When a senator's fight against communism in his own country goes too far, one must stand between good and bad, truth and lie, to save morality. This is a subject that should be argued about endlessly. Good night and good luck. And we're out. Number four. Up in the air, 2009. Everybody's grounded. It's done. What we do here is brutal, and it does leave people devastated, but there is a dignity to the way I do it. Up in the Air is a comedy-drama film directed by Jason Reitman and stars George Clooney, Vera Farmiga, Anna Kendrick, and Danny McBride. This slow-burning and smartly-directed exploration of life's loss of relationships follows successful and ambitious Ryan Bingham, whose job it is to constantly travel and function as a company downsizer. Convinced that one must be face-to-face -face with the person one fires, he is forced to learn about life, love, and friendship when mentoring a new, younger coworker. I get what you're trying to say, Ryan. Don't take this personally, Mr. Bingham. Personally? This is the most personal situation that you are ever going to enter, so before you try to revolutionize my business, I'd like to know that you actually know my business. Number 3. Gravity 2013. All right. We have to make our way to the space station. Over there. Gravity is a 2013 science fiction thriller film directed by Alfonso Cuaron and stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Dr. Ryan Stone, an exceptional medical engineer, embarks on her first shuttle mission with astronaut Matt Kowalski, who is on his last space duty. However, disaster strikes during a routine spacewalk, and Ryan and Matt are stranded in space. With their shuttle destroyed, the brilliant minds must come up with a plan to safely reach Earth. Dr. Stone and Mission Commander Matthew Kowalski are the sole survivors of the SDS-157. I apologize for not complying. I should have stopped working as soon as he instructed me to. We were going to get hit no matter what. There's nothing you could do to change that. Number 2. Oh brother, where art thou? 2000. Well, sir, I'm Jordan Rivers, and these here are the Soggy Bottom Boys out of Cottonelia, Mississippi. Songs of salvation to salve the soul. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou is a crime comedy drama film written and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen, and stars George Clooney, John Turturro, Tim Blake Nelson, and John Goodman. As a movie that not only delivers on every term, but actually wrote cinematic history as the first film ever to be color graded, Oh Brother Where Art Thou is the absurd journey of three prison mates who escape from Mississippi to pursue the dream of fulfillment in a buried treasure on the other side of the country. We hear that you pay good money to sing into a can. Well, that all depends. You boys do Negro songs? Uh, well, uh, sir, we are Negroes. All except for our, uh, our uh, uh, the fellow that plays a guitar. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I had to give my partner a sign, and that's good. Now he's gonna wait 30 seconds until I'm out of the building, make sure you haven't set off the alarm. If you have, he's gonna shoot you, Mr. Gwen, in between the eyes. Okay? Uh, I think that'll do it, Loretta. Thank you. Have a nice day. Sure, I wanna be a secret agent. Contract agent, whatever, get the fuck. Beautiful Eastern European women wear trench. What we do is very serious, Mr. Barris. It's essential in quelling the rise of communism, allowing democracy to get its rightful foothold around the globe. Now, with cell phones, I mean, pretty soon, everybody's going to know where you are at any given moment. Any given moment. Mm -hmm. Did. All right. When you left Jamba Juice, did, did Chad give you any idea where he might be going? Number one. Ocean's Trilogy, 2001. I need a reason. I don't see money. Why do this? Why not do it? 
The Oceans Trilogy is a heist film series directed by Steven Soderbergh and stars George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, and Andy Garcia. There are a ton of heist movies out there, but none are even quite as charming or groundbreaking as this trilogy of the smartest thieves on the planet. Packed with a cast to drop your jaw to the floor, the Oceans trilogy follows main protagonist Danny, who, when finally being released from jail, instantly plans the greatest and probably most arrogant casino heist in the history of the U.S. Play long enough, you never change the stakes, the house takes you. Unless, when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big, and then you take the house. I've been practicing this speech, haven't A little bit, did I rush it? Felt like I rushed it. No, it's good, I liked it. TV things harsh. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.